Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to bunny hop in Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is the easiest of the meta movement mechanics. So this one is one you will pick up pretty damn quick. But there are going to be some players who are either returning to Call of Duty who have not played since the original Modern Warfare 2 or just brand new players either on Steam or who are just now getting into the franchise. Whatever the case may be, you need to be well prepared and know how to equip yourself with the best meta movement mechanics. I've done a video on this channel about slide canceling, and I've also done a video about dive canceling. You can cancel both your dolphin dive and your slides with advanced movement mechanics. Make sure you're checking out those videos. I'll put some cards up in the top right corner over the next minute for you to check out. We're going to hop in game, and I'm going to teach you guys how to bunny hop. This is one of the most broken mechanics when it comes to ego chowling any corner. It allows you to really break cameras on anybody ADSing on you, and if you're in a gunfight and you take advantage of a bunny hop, you're going to have a lot higher probability of winning that gunfight because you're going to be harder to hit. It's going to be harder for them to get thorax shots on you, also known as your chest, and of course, headshots. It's a lot harder to hit a moving target, especially one that's jumping up and down. Let's hop into a game. Let me show you how to do it. All right, guys, so we're going to have an AR. It's actually a lot easier to do this with pistols and submachine guns, but I want you to be able to know that you can do it too, no matter what your situation. Now, I do want to say LMG players and rocket launch players, this is going to be a lot harder because you're going to have a lot heavier of a weapon, but AR submachine gun and anything lighter than that, you're going to be good to go. So what we're going to do is we are just going to learn how to tax sprint. So tax sprint, then jump. That's going to be your first step. Uh, as you saw, I look to the left. We are coming around a corner here, and we are looking left because that is an area we cannot see. Tax sprint, jump, look left. That is our first step. Now, if we were on this side, of course, we would not look left because there's nothing there. We would look right. So this is the first thing we're going to start to learn is basically the normal challenges that you're seeing right now. What the normal player movement is, is people just jumping around corners. So the next thing we're going to incorporate is the aim. Jump around the corner, look left or right, depending on your situation, and aim okay it's gonna look like this let's do it again look like this now you can do this with an iron sight weapon doesn't matter your optic wouldn't recommend a sniper scope though but you could if you wanted now when we hit the ground out of our jump so we just hit the ground we are going to jump again while aiming so we're aiming then we're gonna jump again all right and that's gonna complete our bunny hop that was a bunny hop let's do it again other side that was a cleaner bunny hop. The longer jump on the second jump, it will feel smoother, and that'll be any, a better bunny hop. It'll be significantly better. That one was not as good. That one was a little bit better. All these things combined, and you can do it while going forward, too. I mean, there's no, there's no saying you can't, but it's a lot better when you're challenging a corner like this. So all these things combined is making the bunny hop, and that is how you do the movement mechanic. It is as simple as that. And what this allows you to do is, let's say there's a player at this white car. And that movement alone is going to be enough to throw players off when they're aiming at you, and they're going to miss shots. So we're going to play the rest of this match. We've wasted plenty of time back here. Uh, it's already 33% over. And we are going to bunny hop some players. So um, if you guys are not, you know, getting your tax sprint back after a sprint, stop for a second, hit the challenge, and just bunny hop. Ego chow. This guy's below us. Let's see if he wants to come up. He might come up the stairs. I don't know if he's still back here or not. He's not. He's going to come up. So you see, even when I don't have a clear line of sight, I'm still bunny hopping. And that's because it's still a broken movement. Um, it will fuck up their camera. And basically what that means is right now, what I'm looking at, this guy right here, I saw him through my camera. My screen is my camera. When you're closer to somebody and you do a bunny hop to them, they are going to either lose aim assist, which is extremely broken on console. Uh, they're just going to miss shots on you. It doesn't matter what the case is. Um, you know, if there's that guy, then there's not much you can do in any situation. But um, really doesn't matter what the case is. Regardless of what's happening, if you are bunny hopping, you are going to have a significant advantage over somebody who does not bunny hop. I'm not saying you're going to win every single... Well, here, we're bunny hopping this guy. Ready? 
He's not there. He knew. He knew we were coming with smoke. With guy right here. Guy right here. Ready? We missed our bunny hop. That's all right. We missed our bunny hop. That is okay. All right. You ready? The one there. I really thought there was gonna be someone there too. Oh, he was there. We just didn't. We didn't follow through. They can see me just hopping around these corners, and it allows us to really get good challenges on these corners and potentially win a gunfight. So we have some guys over here now. Should be coming from here. Let's see if the other one follows up. He's not. So guy at the end of that hallway. Right there. Perfect example of how to bunny hop on somebody. Right there. I mean, that's textbook. The, the only reason we won that gunfight is because we bunny hopped. Is the only reason we won that gunfight right there. So, as soon as you learn how to do that mechanic a lot more efficiently, you're going to be golden. It's... It's a very overpowered movement mechanic and the easiest one to learn at that. So what I would like to do is bunny hop and not shoot back so you can see it from their perspective. Of course, I missed the fucking bunny hop. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the perspective or not. Try it again. Let him kill me. All right. Please show the kill cam before we win the game. Hopefully we see it. There's the bunny hop. You see how he snapped on me? How he had to snap on me? If we were shooting at him, he's done. He's not winning that gunfight. Um, that's the full recap of the bunny hop. That is how you bunny hop in Modern Warfare 2. This is a movement mechanic that I really doubt is going to get nerfed. It's just been in Modern Warfare and it was in some of the other games as well recently. It's probably not going anywhere. It's just kind of how it is right now. Um, they could nerf it, but they took away side canceling. There's not really a reason to take away the bunny hop. It's all we got. So, um, yeah, guys, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe, sponsored equipment in the description below. Uh, we went six and eight doing a tutorial vid. You know, that's, that's solid, actually. It's not terrible. So, make sure you leave that like. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.